Welcome to Deep Thought. Keep fearful people out of your circle. This is very important because, you know, yesterday I talked about facing your fears. You always got to face your fears. But one of the things that can keep your fears going is having fearful people in your circle. And since this is the Deep Thought channel, let me get into the whole thing about vibrations. Now, you might not be metaphysical and believe in the energy or something, but people subconsciously take on the energy of the people that they are constantly around. And the reason you do it is very simple. You trying to get along with them. Like if it's just some people you, you, you know, you go through a group or you deal with a group and it's very limited. Like when you walk into a mall or a store or something, you ain't going to take on the energy there merely because you're there temporarily. But when you're around friends, when you're around family, even some neighborhoods you in, you automatically start uh, taking on the vibration or the energy or the mannerisms of the people there really just to get along. You hold back on stuff. Or you try to elevate your stuff. Like if you're in a neighborhood where everybody is distrusting of each other or they're not friendly to each other, shoot, you take that on at least while you're in that neighborhood. You become that way. You might not have started that way, but if you want the long you stay around there, boom. But then if you're in a neighborhood where everybody's friendly, helpful and everything, and you didn't come into the neighborhood like that, you eventually become that. That's just human nature. So when when you have when you look at the people in your circle and you're trying to face your fears, it's going to be extremely, extremely difficult if they always in a fearful mode. You're going to take on that energy. That's that's one of the things you're going to start taking it on. Even if you didn't have it at first, you could have been that type of person, real courageous, real everything. And then you move in there and they constantly on some negative stuff. I'm going to tell you something now, and this is something I learned personally, and I just when I really uh, learned, really paid attention to the vibration thing. You generally have, you know, people who follow me on my main channel know I always talk about select and non-select men. And, you know, and I've noted, I picked up one thing. I picked up my own personal energy when I'm around men who are very successful with women and then the men who are not successful. And I started noticing, I noticed, I started noticing something when I would uh, constantly hear from the men who aren't successful with women or been around them or something. It would bring my energy down. Even having conversations with them would bring my energy down, you know. And someone actually pointed this out to me, you know. Someone actually pointed this out to me. I was like, wow, I'm around this person. This is how they're talking. But then when I was around uh, guys, men who, you know, very good with women, had a bunch of women and everything, my energy would change. It would actually become more positive because they were more positive. Right. You always do that. It's like um, I believe it was Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now, I said before I hadn't read it, but, yeah, I did read it, but a very, very long time ago. But he had, uh, a, a statement attributed to him is, you know, you take the energy of, you know, you take the consciousness of the five people nearest you. Whatever your salary, whatever their salary is, your salary will be the average of theirs. But that's the energy. They in your circle. Because if these are people you cool with, you all subconsciously, you will take on whatever energy they have to get along with them. You know? Cause that's a deep thing. That's what sometimes. That's why. That's a big reason why some groups of people don't get along. They got different energy, right? So let's bring this around full circle. I say keep fearful people out of your circle. You know, and this is best as possible. Cause if they a family member, that can be tough. But even then, limit your interaction with them, because it starts affecting you at some point. Like you trying to face your fears, but all they doing is keeping it going. That's all they are doing because they constantly because they're going to express their fears. Their body language is going to express it, their energy. And shoot, you just, you know, subconsciously, you want to take it on, too, even if you consciously don't want to. So as best as possible, you need to fill your circle with courageous people. People who at least, at the very least, are working to face their own fears, who are trying to stay positive, who are trying to do something. 
at the very least. And, you know, like I said, it can be tough. If it's a family member, if it's a work associate, it's whatever. But one of the ways you do that is when you find somebody who is trying to raise their consciousness or trying to face stuff, you need to become a part of their circle. You need to get friendlier with them. You need to just, even if you just have conversations with them, and that could take you to, that could take you out of it, right? Because the thing with circles, the thing with circles, people are constantly moving in and out of them, even if they don't realize it. And, you know, it's a matter who you spend time with, you know. Are you going to spend time around people who are on some positive stuff, who are talking positively? Or are you going to spend time around some people who want some negative stuff? And I'll say this on YouTube. I don't watch negative videos. There's a lot of people, like, a lot of people, even some people who would consider themselves, people would consider my detractors. I have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> I have no idea, and I've actually told the people who know me privately, don't be sending me links to this stuff. I don't care what they say, because this stuff is just generally negative overall. You know, I don't want that energy. I want people constantly on the, on the rise, you know, or saying something positive. And honestly, to this day, I don't watch a lot of videos. I do not watch a lot of videos because I'm seeing too much negativity. And when I have people in my circle, I prefer people who are doing something positive. Like when they speak with me, it's like, oh, yeah, Ram, I'm working on this. Boom. I'm like, OK. But anybody who's on some concept of negative, this a problem, this a problem, this a problem. It's like if they somebody I had known before, I limit the interactions. Even if they, they were to contact me, I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, you know. I keep them out as best as possible because you need that. You need if you if if you facing your fears and trying to conquer them, you need to be around people who are at the minimum of doing the same thing. I said that already, but that's a very I got to hammer that point home because on a vibration level, you'll pick up that vibration and it would actually help you. That's the thing about it. The more you around positive people, the more it helps you to be positive. I've never seen that to fail. I mean, and you can see that in life. Like you see some, um, okay, like in sports, right? You ever see some player and they can they can be on a bad team or something, right? Bad team, they're always losing, kind of negative, but then they go to another team and then every they become superstars or something. They change up. And people are like, how that happened? It's like because the people on this other team had a positive attitude, you know? And you can see that in workplaces. Y'all ever have a job at some place and it was just bad all the way around, just some terrible stuff, just some negative stuff. Then all of a sudden you change jobs and it, it could be in the same industry and it's just totally different. You're like, wow. But then the people on the, uh, the second job, they positive. Whereas the people on the first job, they negative. You know? So understand that. Like I say, it's vibration, vibration. You need to be on it. It ain't about the talents necessarily or even what you're doing, but it's the type of people you've been on. Now, I had mentioned before, I had worked retail. I had worked retail. And one thing that I loved at this retail place I was working was it was the best work environment. I'm somebody who's worked in the government, government offices and everything, but it was like the best work environment ever because everybody was positive looked out for each other. It was fun. <laughs> it was times I hated taking vacations. That's how fun it was, you know? And now I could have gotten a better job. I could have, trust me, I was qualified for some major. I could have made more money, but I said, you know what? I just like the feeling here. Because my main business at the time anyway was publishing. This was just a supplement anyway. But I was just like, man, I'm having real fun here. Wow. But the people were positive. So keep fearful people out of your circle. Very important. Very important. So really think on what I'm saying. Keep rising and transforming. Peace.